Okay, well, I've got some blackberries here that I just found from there. So, these are amazing bush tucker. So they're good for, um, they're, they're feral food. So, as we said in the other film, um, feral food gives us feral energy. So, this is really good tucker. Um, sweet, like, like raspberries, but these are blackberries. So they're just really good. And just make sure they're not sprayed. So um, these are just really yummy. Well, these are some dry blackberries here. So they're yummy to eat. Some of them are a bit mouldy, but they're still all right. Mm. They're quite nice. Some of them are a bit dry. So this one's that I can feel when I squeeze it. It's not so nice, it's a bit dry. But this one, it's a bit mushier. That's real good. If you get your pocket knife out, and you see like a wattle tree, do you know that that sap stuff that comes out of it, you can just, you can just peel it off and then um, then you get some dried blackberry and then and then and then mush it up with with the wattle sap and the dried blackberry and it makes it's it's like a bush roly and it's really nice and chewy and a bit sweet because of the dried blackberry this is a um, about a hundred year old um, apple tree so um, so and it, its apples are just amazing and that's why it just it's very old so it can look after itself it has a lot of wisdom and it's and it's very healthy because again no one sprays it no one does anything bad to it because it's in the forest and it's away from all the pollution and runoff from the road. This is what an apple looks like when it's no pesticides, no irrigation, no runoff from the roads, no spraying, no nothing. Look, look at these beautiful apples. We're gonna go home, dry them, stew them, some for the winter and some to give to neighbours. So let's go and see the little underworld under there. It's it's like a, it's like an underworld. It's just an amazing spot under the tree. So let's go. Well, we look at this great grandfather tree. It's a it's very healthy. It produces big apples like this. Look how big its trunk is. Rose hips there too. Yeah, well, these are rose hips, so you can just in the winter make a warm tea and then it's really nice to drink. These are some plums here that we just got from that tree there. So, um, they're, so they're nice and big. Some of them are dried and this one's almost dried but yeah. Um, so we might, we'll probably just eat these because there aren't that many. The birds got most of them but I think we'll just eat these. Look, this is all the fruit we've collected. 
So, there's some plums and apples here. I do like our board technique. So you can just get an old board from the tip in your area or just get an old board from, from the, if you've got one and you can just chuck it on the blackberries if you've got any and you want to reduce the amount and it just flattens them down and also you can do this way and just get a fruit.